What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. I forgot that the qualifier you had to join between 6 and 8 a.m., so I actually missed the dang qualifier event, which sucks because uh, the token just goes poof since I wasn't using play endpoints. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numat for all your magic card needs. So the plan was to play the alchemy qualifier, uh, but I guess we will jump back in and exacerbate our hurt feelings by playing some more Murders at Karlov Manor draft. Let's jump into our pick one, pack one. A decent rare. I don't think it's that good. Um but other people tend to like it. Uh, the Green Belt Radical, the Private Eye, and the Repulsive Mutation are probably the top three cards for me. Eh, let's go with the Private Eye. I'm a big fan of the Detective deck. Card does some good work if you can uh, get the Detectives rolling. Getting past a Deadly Cover-Up. Do we want to take a Wrath? We have a bunch of good choices here. Could just take Dog Walker, Nervous Gardener, Eavesdropper. A couple of decent uncommons. A lot of green cards here. Hmm. It's a Wrath, but it's in black. But I don't mind. I'm not one to ignore a good card just because it's maybe in one of the weaker colors. And if we get continued black given to us, then that's a good sign. Although, wow. Man, another Nervous Gardener. Hard-hitting questions. Another Dog Walker. Gadget Technician. Youths. Getting a little bit punished for taking the deadly cover up now, I suppose. Um, kind of want to take the gardener and go like some fun five color, but I'm probably just supposed to start taking these dog walkers as they're such a good um, disguise creature. And we can follow that up with a like a person of interest if we want to. Over, say, gadget technician. Look to be some red aggro deck. Person is one of the best red commons. Dog Walker is one of the best commons, so I don't mind doing that and maybe changing things up. <laughs> Haven't played this format in a little while now. Wow, another Nervous Gardener. No. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of interested in maybe forcing mono red. What if we do that? What if we just ditch our first two picks? Take the technician here and go like mono red. Or at least attempt to go mono red. As then we get this pack. I've done effectively mono black before and it actually did reasonably well. Uh, I guess I could take dual leech here still. We have the deadly cover up. There's a public thoroughfare. There's a bite down. Obviously exp expedited inheritance is not the mono red card we were hoping for. I guess we'll just take the leech. Ah, okay, black's pretty open then. We just passed a murder in the previous pack where I took the technician as well, so... I guess this is where we're gonna be. Nothing wrong with just, like, red-black removal. Yeah, the interrogators isn't bad. Six mana, five, six is alright. You get a clue as well. Concealed weapon on the wheel. Bunch of other red cards. I think we'd actually have the, rather have the two drop than the weapon, though. So that's kind of what our curve looks like. I still think this format is below average. I was hovering around to like a 4 out of 10 with rating, but maybe I'm even closer to like a 3 of 10. And me, myself, I might even rate this lower than Lost Caverns of Ixalan, even though Lost Caverns was also kind of <laughs> whatever. I know it's felt that way for a while now. A lot of the formats that they've been coming out, I haven't super enjoyed. Thinking cap, I suppose. We have one detective right now. I guess two, counting the person of interest token. Ali Assailant's fine. You know what? I'll take the Mask Maker. Maybe there's a world where I end up playing it. If we get enough removal slash tricks. 
and enough disguised creatures. Anything is possible. All right, another decent one for like a black red deck here, Case of the Staff Skeleton. This has come down a lot. Uh, I used to think this card was fantastic, but it doesn't usually play out how you want it to. Oftentimes the opponent can just ignore the 2 1 since it doesn't block. And uh, this is very much a get on the board format. So if the opponent's just curving out as well, they can ignore your case of the stash and kind of just beat you down, you know? Still going to be our choice here. Actually, you know what? We're moving heavy, heavy, heavy into black. Like, haven't seen much red after the fact. It could be some weird mono black. Or rather, a heavy black deck. As <laughs> we're getting past a Niv. <laughs> Whoa, three rares in the pack, actually. Sharp Eyed Rookie, Reenact the Crime. Both the Rookie and the Niv are fine. I mean, Rookie, obviously, the better of them. There's another Technician here, a Murder, a Stalker. Convenient Target is honestly not bad. Yeah, I'll just stick with the black for now. Another sharp-eyed rookie, damn. Well, we were never moving into green, and we have a pretty good push-pull here. There's also Extract a Confession. This pack is just amazing. Dog Walker, Source, Cracker, Confession, Eavesdropper, Push-Pull, Helix, Land, and another rookie. Damn. Very good pack. Uh, another Dog Walker and another Person of Interest. So one, two, three, four disguised creatures right now. And detective count is uh, still too low. We have slice, push, pull, murder, cover up for removal. There's a red herring and another person of interest. I think the persons are usually better, but I guess we would prefer to have cheaper curve. So maybe another two drop here makes more sense there. Or it's going to be the red-black grind-out deck. In fact, we probably do want to pick up one of the uh, reconstructions just to buy back some creatures. Now do I take the case of the Crimson Pulse? I guess so. Offender's good. Automaton would be all right. Repeat Offender or Case of the Gorgon's Kiss. Not huge on this card, but it's actually not terrible with a bunch of small creatures like we have. Man... Love a good Kroos and Tusker, but obviously can't take that right now. Moonbrand Juggler, pick eight, as well as a Volrek Clan Basher. Very nice. Yeah, Wheel the Stalker's good. Yeah, this is like good red-black stuff. Uh, don't see us running the Agency Coroner. 11th pick dog walker is absolutely busted. The problem with red black is that I don't remember it having too many ways to like mass pump, so. You know, feels like we always see this card. Okay, what do we have here for our pack three pick one garbage again? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at seven disguise creatures for mask maker. Guess maybe I just take another two drop here. Jeez, can you imagine first picking a repeat offender? I can't. I'm just going to take Ezram. <laughs> All right, there's a good pack. Gorehound, Slice, Target, Offender, another Dog Walker. I'm going to take the first Gorehound very, very easy over the third or fourth even Dog Walker. The Slice. I'm probably going to end up cutting this Persuasive of Interrogators. I thought we might have been a little bit more control, but... um. Looks like we're going to be a little bit more aggro. I might even cut the Wrath. I just don't like running Wrath effects in my aggressive decks. I guess having Case of the Crimson Pulse maybe makes running the Deadly Cover-Up less bad. Still, not a fan of doing that. All right, another push-pull, fantastic. Also another red herring. 
God, is it crazy to take a red herring here over the push pull? I don't think so. But push pull's probably a little bit too good. Ooh, nice. A little theater. Both the mask maker and the person of interest would be solid here, but we're going to end up with enough playables, so just much better to take the land. Okay, there's that reconstruction I was looking for. My creature count is, what, 14? Uh, I probably want chases on instead then. Yeah, I guess I don't need the buyback. It's another nice pack. Meddler's good, another offender. Green was really open this draft. Kind of wish I had been in green. Uh, even the Thundering Falls is not bad here. I don't mind playing a tap mountain that uh, gives us some surveil value. All right, what are my two worst cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's probably Mask Maker and the Deadly Cover Up. Or actually, Case of the Gorgon's Kiss. All right, all right. We have one clue? Not two clue, we have herring, but yeah, we're not going to be running that suspicious. Nice 40 gems, 10th pick. Yeah, my gem count has taken a bit of a beating lately. I mean, we spent... Like 80,000, 90, no, no, 100,000 of it on, uh, what do you call it, the win -a box events, which was a great use of them, but I am down about 11,000 gems from uh, MKM draft. Kind of insane. All right, let's build our deck. So let's see. 23, looks good. Let's get the double surveil land. And we want a little bit more red. We have three of the double red flip ups, so. It's nine. So this would be, what, nine, ten red, eight black. That's probably okay. Looks good. All right, I think this deck is solid. But let's... uh. Draw well, play well, win some die rolls. The usual things. On the draw here, no black source. I have zero castable cards currently, but I only need to find one land to be able to cast two disguise creatures. And with not only being on the draw, I also have the surveil land. I think this is fine to keep. Okay, so we're effectively going to get a look at four cards to find just one land. Two draw steps so far and a surveil to the graveyard. If we brick on a land next turn, that is just very unlucky. Okay. So that was four chances at basically better than 50%. Yep, that's magic, baby. Five chances now. So what is that? 50 to 25 to 12.5. 6.25, yeah, about 3 percenter. It's good. 3% of the time, it happens every time. All right, I'm going to need to draw three lands in a row, including two swamps into deadly cover-up, and then we're probably still dead. 
Hey, right on time. Okay. Well. <laughs> I see MKM is treating me just as it normally does. That's fine. Little variance out of the way. This is why we've been playing Pokemon on stream lately. I go first. The hand is good. If we draw a third land, we're just going to play out the Alley Assailants as 3-3s, three because herring into Assailant Assailant Slice should be a lot of good pressure. Like, especially if, if the opponent doesn't do anything this next turn, it's going to be very hard to lose, I feel like. Alright, they're going to play out the Bub Smug. So, very likely they're just going to offer the trade then. Okay, good draw for the opponent. Ay ay ay. Eavesdropper. <laughs> they are pretty quick to trade off. I could have sliced there, but I think going Gorehound into getting a Surveil, trying to find a land, is probably better. The dual leech makes all of our creatures good enough attackers, so... I don't think I'm going to slice there. We have push-pull, so I'm not worried if that's a huge creature that attacks us later on. Uh, I'm going to bin that only because we have push-pull. And we want to pump up the dog here, I think. Bystander already trades. Just maybe a gardener or something? Sure. I mean, we're doing fine. Is They have a lot of cards in their hand, and they're getting to the big expensive spells for green now. Or disguises. Or disguises, okay. So we're still going to pump up the Gorehound and attack with both. Because if they double block, we get to blow them out. And let's go ahead and slice... I guess the second one. But I'm sure both of them were fine. Yeah, that was a good hit. That was already going to be a 4-4 minimum if it flipped. And it was another Gardener. Nice. Alright, we chose the right option. Okay, probably going to loot away that land now would be, yes. Oh, different mountain milled or looted away. Two cards in hand with a clue. Good. Yeah, that's good enough. Can't be greedy with that one. Alright, with a double block. Sure, that was a good deal for us. Alright, well, they're at 8 mana territory, so Doppelgang now becomes 
something to be scared of. Okay, just a panther. It's fine. I'm not going to top another land at this point, even though we have push-pull. That's probably worth keeping. Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. And they get to mill my card that I topped. <sighs> if they want to, anyway. Oh, no, they milled themselves. Gear Drake and a Drone Smith. Okay. I mean, I guess we just send both at Jace. Oh, they keep trading off their disguises. It's another gardener? Jeez, what is that, the third one? I feel like we're going to need to get a little bit lucky here. This one, I will like maybe they jace themselves and mill another panther or something. Oh, that's really gross too. Well, they milled two land that time. I wonder if they're going to go for the Jace win. Got 10 cards left in their deck. Oh, they need a minus 8, so I guess that's not going to happen. And they got rid of the part uh, Panther making my push-pull worse. I feel like they should be milling me then, huh? Okay, if they're sacking like that, they must have another relevant card that they're digging for. They're still milling themselves, and another gardener! What is going on? Do they ha I'm not sure actually what's going on. Five cards left in their deck. Ugh! Three cards left in their deck! What am I missing? Two cards! Why are they doing this? Oh wait, Jace still has other text. If you would draw a card, wait, I'm stupid. That's why. <laughs> it's not just the minus ability. <laughs> right, of course. That's so greedy though. Hmm. If I can find a way to just blow up the Jace... No, I guess it's not that greedy. There aren't many ways to blow up a Planeswalker, are there? And all they need next turn is like a deduce. Actually, not even a deduce. The Jace just wins next turn. Is there anything I can do to stop it? They have six blockers, and they got rid of their Trampler. No, we're pretty dead here, aren't we? We have four. We could go five, six. I guess I would get a couple Menace, but that wouldn't be good enough. Meddler would give another creature menace, but still, that's not good enough. The 
is assuming they don't have a counter or something to get me. Yeah, this is not going to work. Cool. I actually have never seen a Jace win in this format, so kind of neat there. Sucks to lose again, but I mean, it is what it is. <sighs> Well, I wasn't planning on this being the last MKM draft I ever do, but we're certainly getting close. I guess I should have given my Dog Walker Menace instead, since that technician's going to die anyways. They just have another shock or something. Sure, nice. Alright, very cool. Hey, well, at least we'll get to see the Planeswalker. I'm not going to concede. Let's just let them do their thing. Target yourself. Get that Jace win. Very nice. Ah, at least it was a cool loss, unlike round one, where we hit very, very unlucky. Okay, 0 oh and 2. Let's get at least one win, please. 0 oh and 2 is the perfect start to a 7 and 2. Trust me. That's, it. That's an okay looking hand. Uh, no removal, but uh, it does stuff. It curves. Maybe that's all I can ask for. Turn one forum familiar. That usually means they have some kind of plan. Uh, right? It's not that they're just... Hmm. Usually. They might have, like, inside source and on the job or something. They have a reason to start pushing damage early. Maybe they have another forum familiar to bounce it or something. Okay. Want to get the meddler online and start surveilling? That's probably best. Remember, the creature was already suspected, but the meddler gives me the ability to, uh, to start surveilling. We're going to need to find removal. Uh, I guess I'm okay with this trade, actually. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see if they suspect their 2-2. Like I said, this is one of those scenarios where Case of the Staff Skeleton is just kind of bad. My opponent's on Boros Aggro, so they can just ignore. This might be the classic post-combat red herring. Ghostly Prison! I'm actually not upset to see that. I don't mind playing a little bit of a slower game here. Uh, 
And I can actually play out the red herring because I can't attack. Notice how it didn't actually make itself attack because of the ghostly prison. Watchdog's very good. Nice. So as long as I do stuff pre-combat, I don't have to attack with the herring. Actually, I don't... Maybe I don't have to attack. I kind of want to do it for science and see if it forces me to attack if I have open mana. I have a feeling it would. Eh, no. Let's just tap out right now and then not have to attack. Okay, so this is going to be the on-the-job turn. So let's put here and then double block here. And if they have a different trick, so be it. I mean, Chase is on or something kind of gets us, but... Yep. Very obvious. All right, I'm going to go down to four. They had the double trick. Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Wow, that sucked. They had the freaking double trick. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we're probably losing pretty badly here. I played around on the job. I mean, what more can you ask for, right? Oh my god, and then I forgot about the dog not allowing us to flip up on... Alright, I punted there. That's my fault. I do that every single time, even though I know the dog has text. Yeah, that was a huge goof. Oopsies. I needed to flip my auctioneer on my turn. Because the dog prevents me from flipping. That's on me. Totally on me. And I need to draw Wrath or we lose. Looks like it might not have mattered anyways. About the uh, missed flip. Show me Wrath next card for the Rubbins. No. Okay. Well... That, my friends, was a hell of a draft. Oh, God. <sighs> that hurt a lot. Another 0-3. Karlov Manor has not treated me very well. Could just be a fundamental problem. I mean, obviously I'm not playing perfectly, but... Maybe I'm getting too used to uh, a specific mindset and not... Um, Drafting the way that this format is not necessarily intended, but how the format goes, you know? So, could just be a change of mindset that's needed. Although, again, I don't think I'm going to be drafting this set too much more anyways. But, let's see. First loss, that was just bad luck variance. Second loss, I think that was actually a decent game where they kind of just crushed us and then got to win with Jace. So, that was cool. And then that game three there, I don't know if there was too much else I could have done besides obviously flipping the technician on the prior turn. That would have given me one more blocker, but ultimately that wouldn't have actually mattered, right? The technician would have been able to trade for the dog straight up. I would have had one more blocker so I could go, like, um, trade with one of the other creatures instead of chumping. But then the person of interest follow-up would have still killed us. Again, the case of the staff skeleton in that match was just awful, so... Good beats. That's magic, baby. Oh, insult to injury since I missed the freaking qualifier and had to do this draft instead for YouTubers, but ah, we'll get them next time. We'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.